Hi, today we are going to learn how to create a video calling application just like Minichat from absolute zero. We are going to use Firebase as a signaling server and Android Jetpack Compose for the mobile of course. If you are not familiar with Minichat, it's a random stranger video calling application. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Welcome back. Before we dive into the project structure, let's take a look at how our application is working at the moment. I'm running three instances of my application inside three emulators and two of them are connected. So if I press stop on all devices, none of them is looking for match. So as soon as the first device starts looking for match and the next one start looking for match, these two devices should be pairing. And for instance, if the third device is looking for a pair, uh, since there are no one available, it shouldn't connect to anyone. So these two connected device has a functionality to send and receive the message. Switch the camera to front and back. And let's say the first device tries to find the next target. It simply press next and you can see the device number one is paired with device number two and same functionality goes for both so let's say this device doesn't want to look for any more match it will stop looking for match and device number two and number three are matched now so that's pure functionality like mini chat application we are using Firebase real-time database for the signaling server. So let's take a deep look at the structure that how are we doing this project. So I have prepared some diagram here, which represents that how the flow of our application is working at the moment. Here we can see our Firebase real-time database that's storing users like this. So we have a table of the users that has a list of random six letter users each user database has two parts the first one is data and the second one is status so the status part has two parts the first one is type and the second one is the participant so each user knows whom is calling him or trying to exchange some data with him now let's take a look at what happens when a mobile connects to the Firebase? Each time a device is connected to the database, it will update a six letter random ID to the database and along with that set the initial state of the status to the looking for match. So whenever the user is connected, it's like a new session that is looking for a match. So if you recently have started a new session, so it means you're looking for a match also. Then you'll start querying the whole database and trying to find the first guy uh, with looking for match status. As soon as you find the first match with looking for match, you'll set the status of yourself to the offered match. And also you will update the target status to receive match. So these two devices, device number one and device number two, have found each other. So you can see, that one of them is offered match and the other one is received match inside the database right now. So these users know that they are participating with each other. So it's like forwarding their signals to each other. Now it's time to establish a WebRTC connection here. To do that, the first user will send the session description as the offer, like here, you can see all the way to this user then this user receives the offer sets as a remote session description and generate the answer and send it back to this guy so this guy receives the answer set it as a remote description and in the meanwhile the generated ICE candidates will be exchanged like this and after exchanging the protocols of the WebRTC, now we are able to establish a direct peer-to-peer -peer call using WebRTC library. Now it's time to open the microphone and camera and set up the stream and add the tracks to peer connection and send and receive the image and the audio.
And same goes for all of the devices that want to find each other and set up the peer connection. It doesn't matter what device it is. We have a same database for all of them. We will exchange the offer and the answer and the IC candidate and simply set up the direct connection to each other. So once again, thank you for watching. Before we start, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and share my YouTube videos. This will help the community. So let's dive in and see how we can create such a project. Till the next video, see you everyone.